Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this, and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's just get straight into this, Gemini. It looks like you are embarking on a brand new journey here. You have the Fool with Strength. Okay. Uh, you also have the Four of Swords, the World, and the Seven of Cups with the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So this new leap of faith that you're taking this new adventure you're embarking on this new this new cycle right there's some sort of mysterious element to it i feel like or at least you're really needing to um draw on all of your strength either either you're drawing on all of your strength to actually move in this direction or it or or getting started or getting the ball rolling or whatnot, whatever, it was some, it's, I feel like it was some sort of like power move or something like that, okay? But there are still some elements to the situation that are a little bit unknown. I, I'm feeling an energy of like moving somehow um, and still needing to, to, still needing to rest a little bit or like meditate a little bit or whatnot, whatever, as this cycle closes out. There might be a little bit of fear here in terms of, you know, moving forward. And, and, and um, yeah, okay. There might be some fear or maybe your ego with the strength card here. Maybe your ego is like getting a little out of control and you're needing to just like, because, okay, uh, what I'm feeling here is like your, your ego might be flaring up a little bit just with all of the different things that could happen. Maybe you're in a little bit of a doomsday energy, like, oh my God, starting to really realize all of the things that could probably go wrong in the situation here. Don't focus on that. It's really not that bad. We don't have the nine of swords here, but we do have the four of swords, which is an energy of needing to rest, to med meditate, to pull back, um, to focus on figuring out your game plan moving forward, okay? Also needing to just take some time to rest and meditate and clear your mind as the old cycle kind of closes out for you with the world here because you are in fact about to embark on a brand new journey here. You could be moving, you could be traveling, you could be starting a new job, you could be um, getting into a new relationship. You might be mo even moving in with somebody that's a significant other for you and your, your ego's all like, I don't know about this. But with the overall energy here being the Empress, abundance is absolutely on your side. This is reassurance from the universe to say that whatever fears you might be, might be flaring up for you right now, however your ego, might be trying to assert some sort of power or control over this situation here, you don't have to worry about it. It's illusionary. The universe absolutely 100% has your back with the Empress energy here. The Empress representing abundance. Also, the Empress representing birth of a new life, a new embarking on a new journey. It's, 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 um, <clears throat> it's, it's, corroborating I guess or I, I don't know if that's the right word for it it's um confirming for you that there is absolutely a brand new cycle a brand new journey a brand new adventure that you're about to go on okay and you're are and you're aware of this I do feel like you're aware of this for some of you you're not necessarily aware of it for some of you that seven of cups is an energy of you feel something is coming you feel a new a new cycle starting a new adventure coming blah 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 you feel like you're about to take some sort of leap of faith in some way but you don't know exactly what that is and so your ego is kind of flaring up and being like raw and causing all sorts of chaos and havoc but you're needing to just like take the advice of that four of swords and just try and clear your mind as much as you possibly can all right jemmy all right cool so i'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what else we have for you for the month of november 2019 yeah here we go gemini Hi, Spirit. 
Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of November 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, I'm going to give this five shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for you here. For my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. That was one. This is two. Three. For my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. Four and five. All right, let's cut the deck here, Gemini. Boop, and we'll see what we've got for you. Overall energy. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay. Well, there's the seven of cups again. And I just saw five, five, five on the counter, the time counter here for the, for the video, um, so far. Um, so there is a big change coming for you, Gemini. Um, and I really do feel like there is a lot of confusion, a lot of chaos. There may even be a lot of worry as to how this is going to work out, what this means for you, what the future holds for you, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. There is a little bit of excitement. I'm not going to lie. There is a little bit of excitement, but there's mostly concern and this might be from a practicality point of view okay underneath the seven of cups you've got the ooh you've got the eight of swords uh-oh all right underneath that you've got the oh okay well you've got justice and then finally the knight of wands all right cool so there's the excitement i was picking up on um the exuberance here why is this eight of swords here gemini Okay, well, I'm kind of feeling like this Eight of Swords, especially in conjunction with Justice, this Eight of Swords might, is somewhat of a past energy. There was some sort of confinement that you found yourself in that you've been needing to break free from for a long time, and now that's finally happening. So that actually could be in terms of or right in a direct alignment with this new this new cycle you're starting, what's closing, the, the past that that's closing out, and the new that's coming forward for you here. Interesting. The Seven of Cups can represent a plethora of options, of ways that you can go about this new cycle beginning, starting. The Seven of Cups also can be you working on understanding the different circumstances of whatever it is you experienced in the past that have led you here. And I feel like for some of you, whatever this Eight of Swords is representing, this past confinement that you rep that is represented for you here, is uh, is is very um is like in a situation that you're coming out of like right now like it's like it's an immediate it was it was like the immediate situation right before where you find yourself in this moment heading towards something new justice is absolutely being served here and actually this seven of cups can represent past energy too because in the past there was a lot of confusion okay there were a lot of different ways that you could go about this that you could have handled the situation there may have been a lot of smoke and mirrors in terms of people or situations that you were dealing with in the past that were causing you a lot of confusion that were helping you to feel stuck but now the illusion is broken you're seeing through this you're seeing much clearer and now justice is being served here because with the, with the Knight of Wands energy, which in my, okay, well, whatever, what's underneath the Knight of Wands that wants to be seen? The Page of Swords. All right, Gemini, this is your energy also. But let me say this. The Knight of Wands energy is an individual that has been enlightened, uh, awakened, that's moving forward passionately, um, fast, quickly. It's a fast-moving energy. It also represents Sagittarian energy. There may be Sagittarius in your chart somehow. Um, Sagittarius may be influencing this situation for you, or the energies of Sagittarius may be influencing this situation for you right now. Um, in terms of planets making transits through Sagittarius, I'm not an astrologer, so I, you'd have to do some research on that and see how that resonates for you. Um, but this is someone that has been activated. This is someone that has been enlightened, that is, is, tr is, is moving forward in some sort of passionate uh, way. Okay, and that, I really feel like that has a lot to do with what's going on here from this past situation that you're moving out of. The Page of Swords did want to come out um, 
uh, seeking knowledge, information, but also the Page of Swords, number one, does represent Gemini energy as, in my opinion, as a reader, the minor, the, the, the court cards here, the pages and the knights represent mutable energy. In the air signs, that is Gemini, okay? So this is you. Um, but this is very blunt, very blunt, straight to the point communication. Um, it might be a little bit immature in the sense of someone doesn't really think before they speak. Be careful of this, Gemini, especially if you're leaving a situation in the past behind that is um, um, professional in nature. You don't want to you don't want to say some things that might burn some bridges. OK, regardless of what the circumstances are, you may be well in the right to, to pop off, to to, to 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 feel a certain type of way or to say certain types of things. But keep that in check. Again, you don't want to be burning any bridges that are unnecessarily burnt, right? Okay. Especially if you're coming to the like very, like say you're making, and this actually resonates with someone that I'm aware of, um, someone that I know, I, I don't know the specifics of her situation, but I, either way, what I'm getting is a, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on a professional situation here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna lead with that as our example. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it doesn't resonate with you, at least the professional aspect of it. But the message here is, say you're leaving a job and moving to another one, right? And you're coming to the very end of your days at that job. And so now it's almost like you're getting senioritis where you're kind of like, you feel like you can slack off a little bit because you know, whatever, I'm about to leave this job. So who the fuck cares? Eh, be careful what you say, okay? Don't go popping off at the mouth, Gemini, all right? Be careful, <laughs> please. You don't want to be burning any bridges that, are necess that are, aren't necessarily needing to be burnt. I don't really feel like there are any real burning there. I don't really feel like you need to be burning any bridges at all here. Of course, this is a general message, so take it as it resonates, but just be careful, especially since there is this, this quite passionate and zealous energy with this Knight of Wands here. You may be feeling very much on top of the world for breaking free from some sort of confinement here, but be careful. Yes. All right. Getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of the reading, you could look at this as first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates, yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. In the first half of your reading, you have the Six of Wands. Victory is at hand. You should be feeling on top of the world right now, Gemini, because it really does feel like you're breaking free from some sort of confinement here that you have needed to break free from for some time. Beautiful, beautiful. I love that for you. Six of Wands is coupled with the King of Cups. All right. Uh, it seems that there's some sort of emotional maturity here that you're moving forward from. I'm also picking up on an energy of someone leading forward with their heart, wanting to make some sort of a romantic gesture. Um, that could be... That could be the new cycle, the new... The new um, Leap of faith that someone wants to take. But what I'm getting with the Six of Wands and the King of Cups here is that just you being true to yourself, honoring your, your heart's desire, moving forward with emotional maturity, emotional responsibility, even reaching a level of emotional maturity and emotional responsibility is very much a victory here for you. So kudos, Gemini. Very much a victory. There we go. Sorry, my screen got a little dark for some reason. Anyway, moving forward. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Excellent. Uh, independence. Firm and solid in who you are and what it is you know you have to offer here, which is allowing you to assert yourself and move forward with what your heart might be leading you towards. Beautiful. Nine of Pentacles is coupled with... Hey, there it is, the Knight of Cups. Again, leading with your heart, moving forward with what it is your heart is calling for. Emotional responsibility also. Now also, this is in terms of someone coming forward for you and making some sort of romantic gesture also. Again, if that resonates for you, then take that. You either could be on the receiving end of this romantic gesture or you could be the one that wants to break free and acknowledge the feelings that you have for somebody. Beautiful. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Gemini, Ace of Cups. That's very interesting. It seems that you've already come into this level of self-awareness and self-love. It seems 
with your challenge here that your challenge is to maintain that is to maintain this sense of integrity, to maintain this sense of emotional responsibility. For others of you that are dealing with some sort of romantic situation, your challenge here is to actually make the offer. Ace of Cups, okay? It's not bad though. Let's see, Ace of Cups, however, is coupled with, wow, the Four of Wands. Wow. All right, so yeah, the challenge here for some of you is in fact making some sort of leap, taking some sort of leap of faith and making a romantic gesture. Um, this could also be, with this Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands, this definitely could be settling into a new home. Because remember, I, did, I was saying that for some of you, you're, you might be trying to move. Your challenge here is in fact, getting settled, emotionally settled into your new residence, a new place. Four of Wands does represent a home. Four of Wands can also represent a union. This is re indicative of like 1111, right? So this is like a twin flame union card, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if you, <laughs> if you want to call it a twin flame situation, go ahead. You could also call it a, a divine counterpart. You could just call it a romantic interest. I mean, come on, it's nothing but a label. But anyway... I am picking up very strongly that first, if this is not a counterpart situation in which someone is coming forward and wanting to make an offer to you, this is in fact settling into a new home. I just heard that, okay? This is excellent energy though, Gemini. Excellent energy. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here you have. The two of wands. Yeah, travel. Definitely could be traveling. Again, definitely could be moving to a new home, definitely could be settling into a new home. Closing message or potential outcome being the two of wands. I feel like this is just taking action on what on a decision that has been made, right? Because the two of wands is about making a decision. However, I do feel like, yeah, what I'm hearing spirit is saying is this, this closing message here represents taking that action, having made the choice and now taking action on it, okay? Two of wands is coupled with the two of pentacles, all right, uh, balance, maintaining balance, maintaining, maintaining physical balance, financial balance. For some of you, you are in the, in the process of trying to make a decision, but again, I feel like this is more in terms of how to, like a plan of action is what I just heard, a plan of action and how to move forward with this and how to remain balanced, how to keep things balanced. I, I, I'm really seeing, picking up on an energy of somebody moving and really needing to be able, needing to, you know, maintain their balance here. Physically, emotionally, financially, for the most part, because this is two of pentacles, but also this is just keeping physical circumstances in balance in terms of a, de a decision that is being made or has already been made. Coming to terms with that decision is something I just heard. All right, Gemini. So let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies you have. The High Priestess. All right. There is a lot of unknown around you right now. However, you are being guided by the universe. You are being guided by your higher self, a higher wisdom here. There are some elements that you're not necessarily going to be able to nail down. There are some elements that you're not going to be able to really be aware of beforehand. You're just going to have to roll with the punches, I'm kind of feeling like here, but the universe has, does in fact have your back. All right, so you really don't need to worry about this unknown energy for too much. You will be able to overcome whatever it is that, you know, pops up for you out of nowhere, seemingly out of the blue. However, even though things may, may come out of seemingly out of nowhere, they are elements that have been plan for or you've been guided towards in order to help you along your way in order to help your development your expansion you, you, your awareness whatnot whatever so again don't worry about it too much don't freak out and i also feel like this is kind of what your ego might be freaking out a little bit by okay don't worry about it it's okay the high priestess is coupled with the knight of swords this is another this is more of your energy gemini but I do see you charging forward into the unknown. I don't feel like this is a bad thing though. The fact that you're charging forward into the unknown. What I also feel like here is you're charging, you're charging forward with your life into the unknown, but 
well defended. I'm actually getting the the Knight of Swords is more of a defensive energy than an, than an uh, um, uh, offensive energy. And I do feel like you're very well prepared for this next cycle in your life. Again, there is a little bit of fear here, of course, because there is so there are there are quite a few unknown elements or maybe some significant elements that are unknown, significant elements to the situation that may be unknown to you um, that you're not quite sure of how to prepare for. And so this almost feels like an energy of being a little bit over prepared. But in this circumstance, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. OK. I am getting an energy of you stressing yourself out with trying to be prepared for everything. Gemini, you don't have to do that. <laughs> you are stressing, you're needlessly stressing yourself out there. All right. Just take into account what it, what you know it is you need to be prepared for and just say, OK, well, I, I'm doing what I can to be prepared. The universe has my back. I'm just going to go with it, but I'm not going to worry too much. I'm just going to allow the universe to lead me into what it is I need to 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 to, to where it is I need to go. No matter what happens, I will be able to overcome it. That's, I think, more of a more of a beneficial energy for you. I really feel like there's a deep sense of practicality here that might be getting in your way, Gemini. And I wanted to say Virgo. Some of you might have, well, there's that practicality energy. Some of you might have Virgo in your chart, maybe as a rising sign or maybe a sun sign. But I'm hearing that you're needing to let that practicality aspect go. Because it's a detriment to you. I mean, you're already being practical enough. You don't have to over-prepare. And like I said, that over-prepared energy really isn't that bad of a thing. It, it's kind of a good thing, but at the same time, it's not the best because it's stressing you out. It's, it's needlessly stressing you out, okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Gemini, you have... Ooh, the king of wands see this is i do feel like this is your energy um very excited very ready to go um, but waiting for the right time to strike knowing what it is you want and not being afraid to go after it the, the, the strongest thing i'm getting for this for you gemini is just waiting for the right time to strike in some cases in other cases this is just being very confident might be overconfident i did hear that mm, okay take that with a grain of salt though But I'm also getting a very uh, tunnel vision, <laughs> tunnel vision, eye on the prize. OK, here, Gemini, that's a really, really good thing. The King of Wands is coupled with. Yep, there you go. The fool again. All right. So this is you know, this is what you want to do. You know, this is the direction that you want to go in. You're about to take this leap of faith. You're very confident in yourself, even though there are some things, there are some elements that might be unknown to you. You're very confident in yourself and you're ready to go. And I'm definitely going to say that this is absolutely in alignment with you, with who you are, with what's next on your journey, with your path moving forward and whatnot, whatever. Beautiful energy, Gemini. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Gem, you have, oh, yes, the Ten of Cups. Unbeknownst to you, this might be leading you towards your Ten of Cups, Gemini, uh, or what I'm really getting here is you are working on achieving your Ten of Cups. What is the Ten of Cups? The Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment. And that can manifest in any way. That can manifest as an ideal career. That can manifest as an ideal family situation, an ideal living situation, an ideal location for living. It could manifest at anything, as anything. What would provide you with that ultimate sense of emotional fulfillment? What I'm feeling like here is that what you're striving for, towards. That's what you're moving towards. That's what you're working on. That's what you're working on building for yourself. That's what you're embarking on. That's what you're, you're taking a leap of faith towards, okay? I'm getting an energy of feeling like hope, very, feeling very hopeful that whatever this, this new, new cycle you're starting, this leap of faith, this new thing that you're going towards here, ultimately, somehow, some way is going to lead you towards the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Six of Cups. 
This is a soulmate situation potentially. Again, so you could be dealing with a romantic partnership here, okay? Um, you also, what I'm picking up specifically is something from childhood that you've had a dream of for a very long time. That's what you're working on, a childhood dream. And this energy here that in terms of taking a leap of faith and moving towards something new, you're taking this leap of faith in hopes that whatever it is you're starting new is going to help fulfill this childhood dream for you. Okay? Keep in mind, Gemini, you do have justice up here in your overall energy. So I do feel like this leap of faith is going to lead you there somehow, some way. Again, there is a lot of unknown here, but that's... Don't worry about that. Let the universe handle that, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Gemini, you have... Hey now, the Emperor. There is so much masculine energy here for you, but honestly, I really feel like, Gemini, you are very much in that masculine energy of, uh, of taking action, of, moving, of, of, of action. Now, you could be a masculine dominant energy individual, even though you might be a woman, it doesn't matter. This is not gender, this is energy. Masculine energy represents action, the go-getter, the doer, the action taker, right? And you're very much in this action-oriented energy right now. So you may even be more femininely oriented and yet your masculine side is really showing here for you to take some sort of leap of faith, for you to take control somehow of your, of your situation here. The emperor is the master of his or her own domain, okay? Is the leader, is the provider. I'm hearing something, I'm hearing things like taking reality into your own hands and shaping it the way you want it, it to, want it to be. Beautiful. I mean, that's, that's why we're here, right? To be master creators and to create our own realities. So looks like you're right in alignment with that, Gemini. Uh, the emperor is coupled with, okay, the five of pentacles. And I do feel like, again, this is another energy from the past, where, uh, whereas you may felt, you may have, Ooh, you may have felt undervalued. You may have felt a uh, 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 lack of control. You may have felt um, left out in the cold, uh, whatnot, whatever. But here, I really feel like you're taking the steps to change that. You don't want to feel like that anymore. So you're moving on to something, a new environment, a new... And I'm getting specifically that this absolutely could be career. This could be career oriented. This could be your job. I mean, it is pentacles, um, but also I'm just feeling like, you know, you're taking your power back and you're moving to a situation in which you are not undervalued. You are not taken advantage of. Ooh, yes, honey. Now, keep in mind also with, I just realized this, with the pre-shuffle energies, the Empress was on the bottom of the deck of that pre-shuffle, and now you have the Emperor here. So that is a balance between masculine and feminine energy. And we also could be dealing with counterparts in the masculine and the feminine, all right? Hey, just throwing that out there. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> all right. With that said, Gemini, let's close out your reading here with your oracle guidance from the Perry Forest. Right. Here we go, gems. Closing message, or oh, there it is. Wow. Oh, shoot. Okay, look at you. Oh, shoot. Scan of you, Gemini. Oh, you got two. You did get two. We're going to take both of them. Okay, so the first one you got was card number 35, the life bringer. Establishment, growth, and fulfillment. And the second is card number 40, queen of the dark wood elves. Premonition, foreshadowing, mystery. I, no, you know what? Mm, I actually want to read Queen of the Dark Wood Elves first. Okay. Sometimes there is a stirring, a shimmering movement, subtle but unmistakable, in the web called Weird. We, weird. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's W Y R D, or Word. <laughs> I think it's Weird. 
weird, uh, that connects us all. This is one such time. The Queen of the Darkwood Elves has come forth to speak with you and ask you to be aware that something is approaching. When she appears, there is a kind of foreboding and unsettling energy, akin to when a storm is gathering its power. There is a very potent force readying itself in your life, and while its impact is yet to be truly felt and experienced, it is best to ready yourself now. So when this card comes, make good your defenses. Tend to injuries and wounds, be they psychic, mental, or physical. Take care of unfinished business and bring in whatever you can. Gather up resources and be ready for when the moment strikes and descends upon you. Because something that was unexpected could have harmed you, could have taken you unaware, but now you are forewarned. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because something that was unexpected could have harmed you, could have taken you unaware, but now you're forewarned, and truth be told, you are now forearmed. Forearmed, excuse me. There is no cause to be scared, frightened, or anxious. This card indicates that you have time to prepare, grow stronger, and meet whatever it is that is coming face on. You will move through the time you are now warned of, and you will be even stronger due to the challenge. But make no mistake, there is a challenge coming, and you can now prepare to minimize its impact and ride out the intense wave of energy it brings into your life. Okay. And then finally, bringer, card number 35, which is establishment, growth, and fulfillment. About you now, ideas and projects are gestating. Constellations of ideas are birthing. Your creativity is flowing from within, and ideas are developing in, easy, in an easy, organic flow. For a time, you will be rich in health and love and in physical beauty. While there is much that is new about you, what has already been developed when you, within your world can now be brought to greater fulfillment. So children may become to mature and grow older, and your ambitions and your dreams may need support to move from their beginnings to become truly established and make their presence strong and unmistakable. Oh, I'm sorry, unshakable. Your accomplishments will now be acknowledged. Respect will be given as is as it is overdue and your contributions and your work will now receive the value and recognition they deserve this could also mean you are able to ask for more money in exchange for your services and seek investment to develop your business your influence power and reputation are all growing in healthy inspiring ways you feel good in yourself a loving relationship with your body now develops and you accept and receive loving support from others no more will you receive disrespect. Unkind words about yourself or your ventures will no longer be tolerated. You are growing in stature. Finally, the world sees you for who you are, a successful being who has followed their dreams. Beautiful energy, Gemini. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.